All right, what's going on, heroes? This is Balance Breakfast Connection with a Lunara gameplay. Um, she is, of course, the newest hero to come to the Nexus, and she is one hell of a DPS. She does a ton of damage. However, she is a glass cannon. Now, what's really unique about this hero is that she's not a burst assassin like a lot of other assassins are in the game currently. I would say most assassins right now are very, very bursty. She is the complete opposite side of the spectrum. She is a damage over time assassin. She does so much damage if you can stay in the fight and continue to attack things, continue to hit things with your ability because of her trait. So nature's toxin is her trait. At level one, you do 33 damage a second for three seconds. That's almost 100 damage extra on top of your auto attack damage. So now you can imagine how that adds up. The longer you attack it, if you attack um, an enemy consecutively, you can stack the poison up to a maximum of nine seconds. That's a ton, nine seconds at 33 damage a second. That's about 300 extra damage. Well. It's pretty crazy. They went for the top happy face fight, but I decided to stay bottom. Level one, I'm gonna go for a blossom swell. I'm gonna talk about why in just a little bit, but um, your first ability is Q, your Q blossom swell. You basically erupt a little circle area of effect on the ground and it deals damage over time or it deals uh, a good chunk of damage and then it aff uh, afflicts them with nature's toxin basically all your abilities are boosted by the fact that you have nature's toxin i'm gonna go i'm trying to go hard on artanis here he looks like he's just trying to ignore me oh gosh that's why that would make sense um so i'm gonna back out i can't do anything one versus two especially as lunara who's super weak I'm gonna send out my wisp though to try to get some information about who's gonna gank me. It's gonna be hard though because they have a Nova, so I can't really spot her very well. Alright, so Chen's coming down here. That's good. I'm gonna try to get as many hits as possible off on Artanis. I think that swap pretty much killed him there. Sweet. A lot of coins. Oh, Chen is like straddling the thing. Here <laughs> he's stuck in the wall. Uh, he, sh he should have kicked the one of the minions, but he might be dead. Actually, maybe not. I don't know how I can help. Uh, okay, interesting. I guess we're just gonna try to break the wall. <laughs> what the? I've never seen that happen. Hopefully we can break. What? Wh why did he jump to the other side? I don't understand. All right, go, my friend. You're free. Oh, and you're dead. Maybe not. Can we kill? No. Diablo. Oh god. Wow, he survived. Well. Damn, okay. That was pretty good. So they've got three down here. There's no way I'm, I'm gonna even, you know, move very far out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna keep moving my wisp around, trying to get it to patrol this top area so to make sure I don't get ganked. But I think I'm gonna keep it there. Alright, level four, I'm gonna go for dividing wisp. This is really nice because essentially you get two wisps for the price of one. Get my poison off on Diablo. Oh, and I, I I didn't really talk about your W, Crippling Spores. This basically prolongs the nature's toxin effect on whoever is currently aff afflicted with it. And also slows whoever is afflicted with it um, by 40%, which is a pretty big deal. And what, what it's kind of used for, what I found a great use case for it is, you know, you're attacking somebody, they get nature's toxin on them, and they're trying to run away. But when you use your W, it makes it really tough for them to run away. So you use it kind of right before they run out of your attack range so you can continue to attack them. And you can often get two or three more auto attacks off on them, which is pretty huge. Oh god. Yeah, I'm probably dead. Slowing down Artanis just to try to make the escape. It, maybe I can juke them th somehow by going this way. I'm trying to hearth. We'll see. Uh oh. Maybe not. Oh, juke. <laughs> Artanis. I think Nova's gonna kill me though, yeah. Oh well. How's the team go doing up top? They're doing pretty, de pretty decent. L Lieutenant Morales keeping everybody alive. It's a pretty even game. Oh nice, everybody's so low uh, on the enemy team up top. We have three tanks though. That's actually a pretty good thing for L Lunara. Three tanks means that your team is going to be able to sustain throughout a long team fight. And as long as I don't get picked off by Nova, 
and I watch my positioning, I should be able to dish out a ton of damage because Lunar is all about staying safe in team fights to maximize um, the amount of people you can hit with your poison. But throwing out the Wisp. Again, unfortunately, it doesn't do as much as I would like it to do versus a Nova. It would have been nice if there was a talent upgrade um, that allows it to uh, reveal cloaked units. But unfortunately, it doesn't do that. Unless you get the one where it dies and then it reveals an area. So Nova's somewhere around here. It's hard for Lunara to, to uh, unstealth enemies. The only way you can do that is hit your Q, but then your Q has such a small, limited radius, makes it tough. Alright, nice. So level 7, I'm going to go for a Splintered Spear. Your next basic attack hits three enemies instead of one after you use your Noxious Blossom. This synergizes very well with Nature's Toxin. You can poison three people, um, or two extra people, and you're, you're often going to be using your Q anyways during team fights. So it just allows you to poison so many enemies. And that's that's essentially the main part of Lunar is getting the poison off as, on as many people as possible. So it works in a lot of different ways. I'm going to continue to shove bottom. I need to keep an eye on where Nova is. I just saw Nova pop out there. So I think she might be rotating bottom. Yeah, actually a lot of them are rotating bottom. Chen should be fine or maybe not. Just gonna focus on whoever I can hit. Getting some damage off on Lili. We're one level ahead, which is nice. No Wisp, so I don't want to overextend here too much. There's the enemy Wisp. Diablo. Diablo is also somebody you gotta really watch out for um, because he can easily put you out of position. Which is just a death sentence for Lunara. I'm staying bottom because I want to try to get our team to level 10 as soon as possible. That'll give us a huge advantage. And I see Artanis middle. So our team should be even in a 4 versus 4. Oh nice. There's Nova too. I can help pick her off. Nice. She goes down. There's level 10. I'm going to go for Thornwood Vine. This is a really, really nice ability. It not only allows you to you know, get those last second pickoffs on somebody who's just out of your attack range. But you can also use it as an AoE skill to get your Nature's Toxin. Without this, the only way to get your Nature's Toxin on multiple people is to use your Noxious Blossom. This gives you another way to spread it on more people. So kind of like if you hit two people with Thor Thornwood Vine, it's already a really great value. Alright, so more Wisps. Wisp is nice on this map. Especially because you can keep an eye on black cards. Alright, so there's Nova. So I can play a little bit more forward. I'll work on killing off their... Um, their healing fountain. Alright, keep an eye on the Shimmer. Yep, there's the Shimmer right there. Nova's heading top. Artanis goes down. Alright, I think Nova is going to be rotating top. She's probably not going to try to take me on uh, solo. So this leaves it. Th this leaves me open to kill this bottom fort. Yeah, everybody's top. I'm going to send out a Wisp just in case. Move my Wisp. Where is everybody? Everybody's still top. I don't see Nova. So she might. Yeah, she might be rotating with Artanis. Oh, there's Nova. Okay, I'm gonna back out though. I've done a decent chunk of damage onto that fort. I'm gonna try to regroup with the team. Actually, they're doing fine. Uh oh. You know what? Treasure for everybody. All right, treasures up. I don't want to attack it because I'm afraid of that Nova gank. Nova really makes me play a lot more cautiously than I normally would, but I think it's justified. So I'm just going to be working on harassing Artanis. 
All right, moving the wisp. If I can get a couple coins, I'll be happy. All right, things are going off. Oh, there's Nova. She missed her snipe though, so I'm gonna head out. I don't have a healing fountain, so I'm just gonna hurt the back. I'm out of mana anyways. That was pretty good. Our Tannis was already softened up. I feel like the, the thing with Lunara is that you're not really going for the last hits. You're not really going to, you know, massively kill anybody. Your role during team fights or whatever is just soften up the enemies so much that they either have to back out or your team can go in for the finisher. As Lunara, you never really want to try to chase down for the last hit because that risks putting yourself in a position where you can't get out of because she literally has no escape. Throwing out a wisp there. I think I'm, I'm gonna clone the wisp and put the second one there. Coming back in the team fight to help. Adding some damage. Oh shoot. Man, I gotta run away from that. That's gonna kill me. I'm really, really squishy as is. That's annoying. Okay. All right, now we're back. Oh, good hook. Try to pick him off with my ultimate. Yeah. Gonna be attacking Diablo here. Going on Lily. And then enemy Lunara. She's dead. There's no way she's getting out. Slowing down with her with my Q. There's the quad kill. Nice. I'm gonna grab uh, this the Bloom Camp, or I'll let Stitches grab the coins. I don't really want to be holding on to coins as Lunara. She's just so weak. Alright, level 16. We're, we're gonna get a huge advantage in the next fight. I'm gonna go for Starwood Spear. Using Crippling Spores increases your basic attack range by 50% for 6 seconds. This is a pretty big deal. It makes it so that basically nobody can get away from you. If they're trying to run away from you, you get your Q off, or you get your Q off on them. You slow them down with your W uh, Crippling Spears. And then that also increases your range. It just means that they're going to be eating a lot more auto attacks before they can get away or they just die. I'm going to try to turn in the coins that I have. I think a play for the boss is a good idea. Whatever we can do to force a fight. And this team comp, I got to say, is really, really great for Lunara. Because the three tanks create enough space in a fight for you to just stay in the back and just do your thing. Focusing on Diablo because that's the only person I can hit. Ideally, I, you know, you want to be hitting somebody a little bit more squishy, but it's all good. So much damage, triple kill. There's a lot of choices. We can just shove mid, we can get boss. Throw out some wisps. You're not, you're not really worried about mana as Lunara, so whenever you can use your abilities to th throw out a Wisp or whatever, you should. Yeah, bossing is probably a great choice. And I'm going to head over there. Normally, I would want to maybe try to split push like this, but they've got Nova. They've got Diablo up now, and they, they definitely need my damage for the boss. Try to clear this wave. All right, going to throw out a Wisp here. Oh, my Wisp is over here, but it can scout while it's heading over here. Okay, chest, I'm gonna drink from the fountain and then head over to the chest. I think we'll be alright. We might have to fight them at Blackheart, but we should be able to grab their coins. And they're gonna need to defend against the top. Oh god. Oh god. Damn, that Nova. Alright, that's going to force me to Hearthstone back. Got to make sure Nova's not around. Okay. Oh, God. Man. That was good. I should have picked a better place to Hearth. I thought Nova would be leaving, but... Right towards the end of that Hearth, I was like, wait a second. Oh, man. This is not good. They're focusing on Diablo, too, who's gone unstoppable. But they do pick off Lunara, so it's four versus four. Oh, 
Nice, two down. They're they're gonna be fine. Yeah. I need to watch out for that Nova. Sweet, we got 16 coins on Chen. The thing about the enemy team is they don't have a lot of ways to stop Chen from drinking his brew. The only way to do it is if Diablo charges him into a wall and it's just it's just not worth it to use that on Chen when you have higher priority targets like you know like Lunara like Medic all right it's gonna head stick stick with the team oh my god oh are you serious right now okay that's really annoying, but that I guess that should, goes to show the you know downside of Lunara, where you just completely get wrecked. I was two levels above, and Nova just picked me off in just one shot. All right, level twenty. I'm definitely gonna go for Galloping Gate. This will allow me to to escape from Nova. After she bursts me down, she still has to get one more auto attack in, but this will allow me to run away. Oh man, our team just got wiped there. Hopefully this is not the start of a comeback for the enemy team. Alright, yeah, our chance needs to back. He's got six coins, he's probably gonna die. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's dead. Maybe. Oh man, this is not where we're just getting picked apart right now, one by one. Oh, our Tannis is going hard right now, hard in the paint. Nice, got Noxious on uh, Lunara. Wow, that was a huge turnaround. I thought we lost that for sure. Boom. Sweet. That was really nice. All right, again, we gotta watch out for that Nova, freaking Nova. I need to make sure I'm not even spotted by the enemy minions because I think that's how Nova was able to track me down last time. Grab these camps because this map is all about PVE. I'm gonna pick up the coins just because I already had three on me. So I'm gonna have to try to make a successful turn in anyways. While Stitches is doing that, the I need to turn in, but I'm afraid of Nova, so I'm actually going to go Healing Fountain first. She's already proven that she's able to track me down pretty well. Alright, let's see. Okay, now I feel a little bit safer with uh, Stitches and Chen. Here they come. Oh god. Oh my god. Wow. Opened up straight on me, which is definitely the right move. As you can see, our team did the same on the enemy uh, Lunara. It's pretty crazy. Uh oh, two down from our team. Can we finish him off? Can the Chen, Earth, Wind, and Fire? Do, do it. Oh man, we'll see. 73% on the enemy core. It's pretty good. Diablo goes down. Oh, Chen's still up. That Earth, Wind, Fire took the brunt of the damage. I think he's going to be fine. I don't think these two can finish off Chen. Although with Nova there, it's, we don't know. 33% on the enemy core. We've got two Siege Camp moving in. What's Chen going to do? Chen's going to rush the core. Oh, I think this is going to be game. Maybe. Diablo's are running back, trying to defend this. Yeah, I think that's going to be GG. Chen's going to go for it. But damn, towards the end there, I think the enemy team just wisened up on how to beat Lunara. She's really vulnerable to, you know, getting jumped on. Somebody like Diablo flipping her just out of position and Nova bursting her down. Uh, I guess that's a good showing of how you can counter Lunara. But when I wasn't completely getting wrecked, 
at the start of every team fight by by Nova, um, you saw that it didn't matter who we were hitting. Whoever we were hitting was dead. It was like a death sentence. You've got that slow. You've got that damage over time. You've got that crazy range. If you can't finish them off, it's okay. Your teammates are going to be able to take care of them or the damage over time is going to finish them off. So she's a deadly weapon, but you get punished also very hard. Um, I... In competitive play, I'm interested to see how she'll do. I feel like if you you have to build a team around peeling uh, enemies off of Lunara, and she can be pretty easily countered by heroes that can sneak up on her or you know create the space, uh, solo her out, things like that. I, I can see a Leoric in Tomb being really good on uh, Lunara. As you can see Diablo with the flips being good on her if you're trying to counter her. So I feel like she'll be a very situational pick, but a very strong situational pick. Because if you can't create that space to you know open up on Lunar and just pick her off fast, she's going to be able to soften up your entire team with that damage over time, with that poison. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this first look game at Lunara. We know we're still not we're not amazing on her. Obviously, it's the first day she came out. I'm gonna play some more games. See if I can get her um, in a good ranked game and post that up soon. But anyways, this is Balance Breakfast, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.